Patrick Joseph's way. Patrick Joseph's way. And what's your mother called? Uh, Mary. Okay. She, she, she was known and met close relatives. Mm -hmm. And um, what was her surname, or was it no, because the father was surname. Yeah. Her name, surname, before marriage was Sloan as well. Sloan? Yeah. Was it the same kind of surname? you know? Pardon? Was it the same S-O-O-A-N-E? Yeah, I understand, yeah. yeah. Okay. And what was her father called? Her father. Well, your father? My father's called Patrick. Patrick? Yeah. And he's called Sloan? Oh, yes. Okay. And then, um, do you remember anything about your grandparents? Yes. Uh, I remember my uh, grandmother. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you remember her name? Mm, Catherine. <coughs> and do you remember her surname? Uh, no. Okay. Um, your grandfather was he called Sloan? Yes, I think, I think he was called Michael Sloan. Okay. And uh, the, the other children. And uh, it was found su suitable because the business the father was in was packed, they were, it was being packed, packed in. And uh, my mother came to uh, back home to a lease to help me and it's my two sisters and two brothers uh, were born in England. Were they born before you? Were you being I was the I was the uh, the, the fourth. St. Patrick's Ball in Liverpool in the Waver Tree Town Hall. And, oh, yes, I was on holiday in Ireland, mm -hmm. in a week. And I was staying with uh, my Auntie Kate, my mother, one of my mother's sisters. And uh, Not far from from where her home was, the uh, there was some rough country, and I was out this day, and I, there was a huge rock about as high as a house. I was coming along, or well, climbed back, so I climbed it, got to the top, and when I looked down, the bottom, there was a fox, a vixen, with three or four cubs, mm -hmm. who were playing outside, and. The, the den was underneath this huge rock, which I climbed from the other side. So, <laughs> actually, the uh, was, uh, there wasn't any hunting there at all. The, uh, the farmers, if they got a fox anywhere near the farm or near the chicken run, mm -hmm. they go out their gun and shoot it, which is considered a very bad form in parts of England where they, they hunt the fox. Mm -hmm. They shoot it. It's not, not sporting. That was when... Uh, was when... My mother took up a post at a place in Inverness, sure, a place called Whitebridge. And uh, she lived, she, there was a, the school she was teaching in, she was in charge, and uh, it's one of these village schools with uh, the scholars were all of various ages. And uh, She had, five, she had five children to look after of her own family. And uh, 
she used to you used to have a, used to have a maid to help with the, looking after the children and uh, both doing general work in, in the house. But apparently this day, one of the dressed to her was, was in the kitchen and uh, in this lonely area. She looks out through the kitchen window and uh, there's an uncouth trap there and he, he's trying to make his way through the window, testing the window to see if it's uh, possible to get into the house that way. So, the mother apparently turned round and picked up the hatchet that was used for chopping the wood and shook it at him and he took off. And it, at that time, it was a common thing in, in the in the land, especially in the countryside, for traps to be about. You don't see so many of them nowadays. Mm. But they used to walk and, I suppose, able to make a living, some kind of existence. 